All right, I got a new crossbow target. And I'm gonna check it out. I was gonna try to suspend it on this thing. So I don't know if it's gonna fall over or not, but I, with the weight of this thing, it's uh, I'm almost 40 pounds. So I'm thinking it's not gonna fall over. <laughs> All right. That's a little more realistic. Although it could come up a little bit higher, but I'm really not concerned about that now. I'm more concerned about how it's not gonna stop the arrows. <clears throat> All right, this is a Barnett Raptor. No. No, what the hell is the name of this thing? Yeah, Raptor. Raptor. Barnett Raptor. I guess it's about, I don't know, four. But I think I got it maybe 16, 2016, 17, something like that. I like it, though. It's nice. It's a, it's a good bow. It's just kind of the bottom line of the barn. At the time, it was kind of the bottom line. Second from bottom line, whatever, of the Barnett <clears throat> deal. Guys are saying they didn't like that scope, but, I, you know, I just, I don't know enough about them to say, I, you know, it's good or bad. I, I think it's fine. It has those graduated lines in there <clears throat> for different yardages, but this thing shoots flat from, probably from about here all the way out to about 35 yards. I don't know what this is, about 10 I just want to see how the thing stops the arrows. But it'll shoot flat damn near out to 35. All I really wanted to do with this video is just show the the uh, target and see how well the target functions. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Hot dog and greyhounds. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Smacked that thing, didn't it? I was aiming, I wasn't really being real careful, but I was aiming pretty close to that center target. Now, here's the key, is the taking out part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was nice. All right, let's do another one. Let's go for that top one, or the top one. I was worried about having to make a, a stand for it because it would be shaking too much. But I can see that that's not, that's not a problem. Let's see here. All right, here we go. One hand. Oh, my gosh. Just like another bag. Just like a regular bag target. So there you go. The Delta McKenzie. It was 55 or 59. Ooh, this thing's starting to come off on there. It was 55 or 50, I can't remember, on Amazon. Delivered. You know, they delivered it free. But uh, well worth it rather than fighting that uh, block. That block's even hard to get the regular arrows out of it, but not as bad as these things. These uh, bolts, they call them, I guess. All right, I took it off the hanger. Let's just try one hang. Uh, just not hanging, just sitting on the ground. Make sure it don't, <clears throat> make sure it doesn't uh, fall over. And this one here, this thing crossed when you cock it, it pulls the safety back. I guess they're all like that. And you just push it forward and it goes off when you want to shoot. Got my fire going. No, that gets going good. All right, let's uh, see. It. I'll go for the top one again. I don't want to shoot too low. Man, that's nice. It didn't hardly even budge. It didn't hardly even budge. So you can just shoot it on the ground if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if I can take it out without yeah nice oh that's great i might be going on and on about it but man that thing it was almost like you didn't even want to shoot it with that block target and i'm not i'm talking about it's a it's a decent block target i mean it's not like some cheap thing i mean it's actually a, 
it's actually a block target. I mean, it's actually the block. And it's a big one, too. You know, it's a big block target. And I tell you, I'd have to get in on a damn thing like this. Put it down, tip it over. Here's the last. Here's the ones I shot last, I don't know, a couple weeks ago when I was sighting it in for the year. I'd have to, I'd have to get put this thing down, then literally kneel on it like this. Kneel on it with two hands. Grab those arrows and pull them out. And I mean, to sit there and having to do that every time is kind of a pain in the neck. With my back ain't the best, and yeah, so. But anyway, it worked good. It worked good. Very happy with it. If anybody's thinking about buying one, buy it. You won't be disappointed. I don't know how long it's going to last. Um. I mean, if you got two or three guys shooting constantly, I guess, you know, the cover's going to get wore out. But I just don't see how on these bag targets, usually the uh, <clears throat> the only thing that really messes up on them a lot is the is the covering on them. And I'm going to keep this thing in the inside, in the barn, too. I'm not going to let it sit out in the weather, although you probably can. I mean, it just looks like a... The covering like one of them tarps like a tarp well no it looks even like a little better cover than a tarp actually yeah all right i'm happy with it